We just wanted to show you a few things today. Uh, first of all, what exactly can fit in each of these two bags, and also how they go together and how they come apart. So this is the mini messenger. And in order to get inside, just open this lid. And keep in mind that these are prototypes, so some of the binding is not finished yet, but that will be finished in production. Um, we've got a dedicated iPad pouch here. It fits in really nicely. It's actually a little bit of slack, so you can fit some other things in there as well. I'm gonna stick my moleskin in. I'm gonna put a windbreaker in here, in case it gets cold. And a bottle of water. So as you can see, it can fit quite a bit of stuff inside of this bag. Here's the soot battery, two USB ports, and that fits into this dedicated pouch. The ports are facing out, obviously, so you have easy access to them. And for now, I'm just gonna zip that up because I don't need the, I don't need to charge anything. This is the commuter backpack. And inside we have a laptop sleeve. And many of you have been, have been asking how big of a laptop um, we can actually fit in there. So this is not designed just for MacBooks that are super slim. Um, we actually happen to have a ThinkPad here, which is relatively chunky for a 15 inch laptop. It's got this uh, external battery over here. You can see that that fits pretty nicely into this sleeve. And we can just latch it shut. I've got some clothes here that I wanted to stuff in, so we'll put those in as well. And maybe a toiletries bag. So let me zip this up. We've got these two little loops on the sides that you can stick a carabiner on if you want to clip a, a water bottle to that. Or just carry some other things. Throw in the toiletries. zip that up. So these are super high grade industrial 10 coil metal uh, zippers. So these are gonna last you a really long time. We've got this face zipper here as well. So if you, you know, your bag's laying down, you can actually grab something out pretty easily. So you can see this is, um, you know, a fully functional independent bag in and of itself. Because you don't always need all of your stuff. So um, you can see we've got nice mesh on the back padding, some more ballistic nylon, um, nice padded mesh on the shoulder straps as well. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a nice hexagon pattern. We really wanted to go for something here that was not trying to be like a faux leather or anything like that. Um, this is intentionally kind of synthetic um, pattern here, uh, which is really nice. This comes on the, the Ballistic series. Um, so I just wanted to show you real quick how these two bags go together. Um, so with the Mini Messenger, what you're gonna wanna do is actually um, unclip it, and this strap folds over to the back, or sorry, this flap folds over to the back. The whole point behind making this fold over to the back is that you know you don't want to have to remember to bring things with you. So we really designed it to where when you transform this bag, you have everything you need in order to be able to retransform it back into independent bags. So these snap right back into the original clips they were clipped into before, and it kind of becomes part of the back padding. And so when you go to zip these two bags together, flip over the commuter backpack, engage the zipper, and then just zip it right up. See how easy that was? I mean, it's a quick, a quick way to attach the bags and form the full carry-on. So we actually traveled with this bag and they considered this to be a personal item, which is nice because then you can bring a, uh, an actual carry-on with you. So it's a great way to not have to check in luggage. You can see the mini messenger strap. Now this is kind of long because I had it around my shoulder, but this is adjustable. So the mini messenger shoulder strap now becomes the waist clip. And we've got a chest clip here as well. You can stay nice and strapped in. Um, and you can see this is now a full size, nice size pack. These are all fully adjustable. Just imagine you're getting on a plane and you get to your seat. 
What's great about this full pack is that you can actually detach this once you get to your seat. And again, transform this back into the mini messenger. And now you've got the perfect bag to keep with you on that you know, international flight. If you're on board for 10 hours, you need some entertainment. So this has your battery in it that'll keep your iPad charged up for the entire duration of the flight, as well as your phones for when you land on the ground and need to call your loved ones to have them pick you up. And the commuter then would go in the overhead bin because you don't need it. I mean, all the stuff you need is in the mini messenger. So this is an example of attaching the bags but keeping them compartmentalized, meaning that you know you can put all your smaller gear in the bottom here to make it easy to access while it's attached to the other bag. And now if I wanna get something out of the bottom, it's really easy to just you know reach in and, and grab my jacket um, or even grab my iPad. I can unzip this a little more if you need to, just to be able to grab your moleskin or, or whatever it is you need to grab. Um, we also have this little pocket here that's great for like little charging cables and headphones and things like that. One other thing I wanted to show you was how to attach these bags and to keep them and to open them up as one big volume because that's really where the magic comes in. Again, this is a prototype, so this will be all finished and bound, but you can see there's a pass-through that opens up um, the two volumes together. So. Let me flip this over, like just like we did before. This seems a little kludgy, but it's actually quite easy. Um, again, engage the zipper. Zip that around. And now you really do have one full volume, one open volume. You've got, you know, my clothes drop down into the mini messenger. And I can stuff some more things here at the top now that, 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 that's, uh, that that's open. So stick my windbreaker in there, a bottle of water, and stick a couple of things in there. Let me throw my jam box in. Um, but yeah, so this should hopefully help to answer the questions of how this bag system actually works. Um, again, the beauty of it is that it does become one open volume. So this is true modularity. This is not two bags stuck to one another. This is um, one open volume that turns into one big carry-on bag. One other thing I wanted to show you is that the, the flap for the mini messenger is actually removable via a separating zipper. So if you don't want to have that on there, you have the option of taking it off, but by making it modular now, what you can do is you can actually switch up the lids. So if you wanted to, if you had a friend who bought an electro pack as well, um, you guys can start mix and matching components. So if you want to do a gray top with like a blue bottom and a yellow lid, you could do that. So true modularity, um, hope this helps. If you guys have, uh, still have questions, just let us know. And um, thanks.